Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E, or Eric, and uh, this is City Skylines. Episode 4, I believe. I could be wrong. 4 or 5. Last episode, I... I pretty much devastated us. I, uh... <laughs> As the mayor of the town, I elected to make everybody homeless, essentially. What I did is I created the whole town I put into a district, and then I put a policy on the district, which was to make all of the homes energy efficient, self-sustaining. Uh, that is to say, they don't spend water on their grass, they have solar energy, and it tore down all of the houses and we lost nearly all of our citizens. They were just homeless. But as you can see, I let it run. It has built itself back up. The difference when... What's really odd about the self-sustaining stuff is it's no longer green. It's um, much like here in New Mexico. There's not much green grass in uh, in yards. It's, uh, it's desert and sandy. So that's what we got going on. And I've added a few features. I just was kind of messing around while I was letting the town build up because I wanted to start kind of from where we were. So... Anyway, let's take a little view here. I've done some really interesting stuff here. This is not pretty. I know it's not pretty, but um, if I was playing the game with unlimited money, I could spend hours trying to get this interchange correct. But it's I just it's kind of Frankenstein together, but it has solved our problem. We have no more trucks rolling through our town. So I'm going to call this the westbound lane on this side. Uh, if up is north, right? So they have access to our industrial park here, and they can um, leave the industrial park here. So this is one way. This is one way. So all trucks entering come in here. All trucks exiting come here, and they can access the westbound or the eastbound lane. If they need the eastbound lane, they come off of this little off-ramp. Boom, right there. If they need the other lane, they just make a straight shot, and they're heading westbound. Same thing with this side. If they need to access the park, here is their inlet. And uh, when they're leaving, it's right here. So, like I said, it doesn't look very pretty, but it did solve the problem. I was going to do a tunnel underground, but it is super, super expensive to do the tunnels. This little stretch of road, I tried to make a tunnel, and it was like seven grand. And I was like, no, just do regular old roads. I also, I tried an elevated road, but it, it was kind of pointless. So, this is what we've done here. So I'm also going to expand our industrial into this area just a little bit, not too far. But you can see our residential down here. We have a very, very high demand for more houses. We also have another problem I noticed, our electricity. Our consumption is 36 megawatts. We're only producing 40 megawatts. That is a major problem. So I've got to figure out something to do. I think what we might do... I don't have wind turbines unlocked, but we're pretty close. If I can get some more houses in. Um, wind turbines are okay, but they only produce a max of eight. So it's not ideal. What I really want is this. I want the solar plant, but we need 20,000 people to get there. So I might actually have to put another coal power plant in. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's already kind of polluted right here, but I think I'm going to do it. In fact, decision made. So that should instantly fi fix our electricity problem as soon as it comes online. There it goes. So now we're producing 80. So we're good to go. So we can build up our, uh, we can build up our town a little more. So last episode, I was putting a downtown area in, and we kind of, it's sort of in the works. We've got a little park going on right here. We've got a dog park over here. We've got a carousel here. I placed a carousel in here. Kids love carousels. Adults love carousels. Look at this little doggy right here. Let's name this dog. We're going to name this doggy Big E. <laughs> Who's his owner? There's Marcy... 
Mary Gray. We're going to name his owner E. <laughs> Uh, right, because I'm full of myself. Okay. Anyway. I've got a new radio station. It's called Gold FM. It's it's oldies. Uh, anyway, what are we going to do? I need to get some houses down. So I'm going to also, I changed this up a little bit. Um, we got, this is going to be another, we're going to put another neighborhood any over here. A different kind of neighborhood. Uh, I did purchase this plot right here so I could do this stuff. We'll unlock another plot at the next milestone, I believe. But for now, let's. Uh, I gotta. I gotta chuck some houses down here because we do have a demand for it. Um, it's not exactly lined up. Oh, this is one way. Wait, hold on. Uh, no, this. Oh, need to change that. There we go. Anyway, let's get. Uh, we're just gonna keep with our basic block grid here. But you can see it doesn't quite line up, and that's because of this interchange didn't line up here. So looks a little bit wonky. This would drive me crazy. Uh, if I was playing with unlimited money, I would redo all this. I would delete everything and redo the highway and everything myself. But neighborhoods aren't exactly laid out perfectly anyway. So before we put our houses in, let's make sure our water uh, situation is going to be fine here. Let's go here. And that should cover a little more here. Okay. Okay. All right, let's chuck some houses in because we have a super, super high demand. So we're going to block off some spots. I love these little corner shops. We're going to stick with that theme. And we'll put one, uh, we'll put a couple over here. These are going to be a little bit weird looking because of the blocks aren't exactly perfect. I don't know how that's going to work out. We'll see what happens right there. Uh, this road can go. I was using that to line stuff up. Okay, houses. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. We're going to just do that. Okay, that should satisfy that demand. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this before they get too far. I got to extend. No. This. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. So anything that spawned in will automatically, it'll switch over. We want to keep this green. Well, not it's not green theme. It is a green theme, although it doesn't look green because of the yards. We don't, they don't spend any water on, uh, you know, keeping their lawns green like they do in Beverly Hills or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a complete, it's called Mountain Town. The, the, uh, the whole vibe... The, uh, what is it called? Um, what's it like a large area called? I can't remember. Anyway, it's Misty Mountain Valley. And the town is Misty Mountain Town. We're going to put another town out here. But uh, eventually what's going to happen here, we're going to have a big city. This is going to, we're going to have a big city up here. And the reason I want the city up here is because of this train line. We'll have passenger depots up here. Uh, and then we're going to get some buses running between these two towns and to the city. Might even get a, uh, we might even run a rail down this way. You can do that. But, but, but look at this disgustingness. Any towns or cities up here, they're probably like, good God, man. The mayor of Misty Mountain Valley is just what an absolute caveman. We just can't do anything about this right now, but we are going to clean this up eventually. In fact, we're going to get. Yeah, we'll get a water treatment plant. It purifies 85% of the pollution. What does this one do? This one is even better, I think. But what do we need for this? We need 16,000. you got to build quite a big city before you can not dump raw sewage into the water, apparently. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So let me take a quick look here. Electricity is fine. Our water is still good to go. How are we doing? Our, uh, our landfill is over here. 
It's uh, we're okay for now. We got a long way to go there. No need to panic. Healthcare is still good, although I probably could use any other clinic. We don't have a lot of money, but we are making money again, and we are up to twenty three hundred people, so that is good. We're pretty close to that next milestone. I think it's twenty four hundred. But for right now, we do have coverage with this clinic, so I'm not going to waste money right now. Uh, we could use another fire department. If we have a fire that breaks out over here, it will take them a while to get over. Um, how much is it? Hello? 12,000. Nah, I can't, I can't do that right now. Police? Oh, we actually, uh, we need another police department. How much is the police department? It's also 12,000. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to do this. Um, okay. I'm going to put a police department in here. Actually, where do I want it? I want it. We're going to put it here. Because we are going to hit a milestone and we'll get a little bit more money there. That gives us full coverage. Uh, how are we doing here? High school, we're good to go. Plenty of capacity. Elementary school. Oh, we need another elementary school. We just can't afford it. We're going to wait till we hit this milestone. And uh, we should get some more money. I also... I took out a loan. Because when I depleted the town's population... Uh-oh, we've got a fire over here. We just hit it. Boom town. There it is. Ah, we have bus stations and buses. We have recycling, recreational use. This is interesting. Allowing recreational use of controlled substances attracts more tourists, but also requires more police presence in the area. I don't know if people are smoking weed. Do you really need police around? I don't know. Uh, we get access to some new uh, roads, highway ramp. I. The only restaurant with a service are dinosaurs. Our animatronics are so real. You'll think okay, I'm not going to listen to the commercial. Uh, I'm going to turn these into highway ramps over here. What else do we have access to? Toll booths. We have the uh, wind turbine, bus depot, cemetery. So we're going to have to put a cemetery in. And then we've got some other interesting things here. Okay. Yeah, the commercials are hilarious. Anyway, so I had a loan. I took two loans out. I paid one of them back, and uh, we do. I took another one out because we our money was dire because of the uh, the hit that I did on the town. Anyway, it's hard for me not to listen to these commercials. Together, we can reunite minerals with the people who love them. Colossal ore. More than ore. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, what are we doing here? Milestones. So, people are going to start dying now. So, I need to get a uh, some death care in, and that's going to be here. We can't do the crematorium yet. So, just like the landfill, I hate to make a comparison between a landfill and a cemetery. <laughs> but once you put a cemetery down and people are buried there, you have to empty the cemetery if you want to ever move it. But we're never going to move the cemetery. So, I gotta let's think of a place where we want this cemetery. Um, wouldn't actually be too bad over here. We're gonna put our cemetery. Let me, I got to think about this. This is kind of the end of this town. So I'm going to put a cemetery right here. Yes, there it is. So now we have some death care. So this will dispatch ambulances. It looks pretty cool. That's a looks like an old Western town cemetery right there. All right, so that's in place, and people do enjoy it. It makes the citizens happy for some reason. I guess just because they have a place to put their departed uh, family members. <laughs> uh, we got a little bit of demand for commercial, but I've got to start thinking about uh, developing this a little more. And so this is what's gonna forming in my mind. I'm kind of winging this as I go, but this is also going to extend upwards, just like this road here. And eventually, it's going to tie into the big city. But we're going to have another little town vibe happening. Just another neighborhood, I'll call it. We're going to call these neighborhoods in the town. And eventually, we'll be big enough 
to call ourselves a city. And we will be purchasing this. So when I purchase this tile, I'll be able to put my own cloverleaf or my own um, highway interchange or whatever over here. Maybe we'll do some fun stuff with this, uh, this little lake area over here as well. But for now, let's... Um, Dun, dun, dun. Let's extend this road up a little bit. It's the four lane. Ba, 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 ba. Exactly. There we go. We're going to put some more parks in. We do need parks. Parks make people happy. Let's actually, let me take a look here. So you see where the parks are. You see how the houses are turning that really light blue. That means the land value is going up. People are happy. When the land value goes up, the buildings will level up and they'll look nicer. And it also attracts outside uh, tourism. So you have uh, money coming into the town. So it looks like we could use something over here. These dog parks are really small. You can't go wrong. And they have a large happiness radius. So let me see if I can fit one in without tearing down somebody's house here. I think I'm going to put one right here for these people. Actually, I'm going to knock down some buildings. I'm going to knock down, sorry, evicted. <laughs> Eminent domain. I'm the fucking mayor. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> That'll help increase the land value here. How's a little? How's this uh, downtown area starting to look? It's just going to be a small town vibe downtown right here. So it's going to be mostly commercial. When we unlock offices, I love the look of offices at certain um, uh, levels. When they start getting too high, uh, they get taller and taller, the office buildings. that It looks good in the city, but I don't like that vibe in a small town. Um, this is as big as I like buildings like this. Like I don't know what that is. Oh, a seagull? How did I just pin a seagull? All right, we're going to name this seagull Bob. It's Bob the seagull. We'll see if we can find him again later. <laughs> uh, get off of Bob. Okay. Yeah, what was this building I was trying to look at? Is this a... Is that the... Oh, it's the high school. That's the high school. We're going to name this... My high school was called Tab High. Tab High Tigers. Yeah, we're going to name it Tab High. My elementary school, where's my elementary school at? Where did I put it? Is that it? No. I know how I can find it. Let's do this. Uh, elementary. There it is right there. We're going to name the elementary school Dare. Uh, that was the name of my elementary school. And can I type uh, elementary? Nice. Okay. I'm a little bit distracted here. Got a little bit of demand for some commercial. So like I said, I'm kind of winging this. This is a terrible place for the landfill, man. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm just not going to build over here. We're going to kind of ignore this. I mean, it's not bad. It's away from the town. But it would have been better, like, I don't know, some... I don't know. Actually, it's not bad. I guess it's not bad because I'm not really utilizing this part yet. People drive past it. We'll pretend like it's not there. But uh, let's put in a little bit more... A little bit more industry over here. So I should have this zoned. Yeah, so I zoned this in a little bit. I want to try to stay away from these uh, things because of the pollution it creates. But I do need to be close enough so the, um, the electricity jumps. Let's do this. Just a couple more. It's not a huge demand. Make sure that's in the area. It is. Okay. Uh, let's cup a couple more stores. Let's dump a couple more stores. I've decided to use this road because I didn't realize people could park on the side of these roads. That's the only reason I didn't want to put stores on the road. But since they can, we're going to put some little, uh, get a little, uh, you know, downtown area vibe going on here. We'll mix it up with some big ones and small ones. That's what she said. <laughs> Stop it, you pervert. All right. Uh, do I have water coverage up here? We do. We're good to go up there. So it's coming down a little bit. This is easy, uh, easily resolved, though. 
not going to worry about it for right now. We don't have to worry about it until it gets down here. I mean, you could be proactive. I'm thinking about doing something with this island right here. Maybe like one single big house or something. Hmm, I wonder if Big E could live on the island as the mayor and overlook his minions. <laughs> I think that's going to happen. What do we got here? Got like, oh, hello. Got an abandoned house. A little abandoned pier. All right. Or a bridge. I don't know. Yeah, I think I might do something over here, but not this episode. What do we do on time? About 20 minutes in. Okay, let's see if I can focus and do something. Let's build up around this a little bit. Actually, hold on. My zone... Okay, that's actually as far as I want to go. We're, we've built all of the houses in this zone. We do have a fire here. Let's look at our responders. Where are they? Here they come. Here they come. Take care of that, boys. Right on. Whose house is this? The Underhill Residence. It is on fire. You got four children, one teen, four adults, and two seniors. Ten uneducated, one educated. What do you mean uneducated? You got schools like right across the street. Well, they took care of that. Very nice. So that's a pretty quick response. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I got to start thinking about this other. I got to start building in this other town or little neighborhood because this is going to go up, and we want to keep. We want to keep this less than uh, less than half. So let's see here. So with the idea that this is going to extend and turn into a city, what we're going to do, I'm going to tie this together. Um, why is that locking? Oh, it's because it's a little bit off. I see. All right, let's do it this way. That's 87. That's 90. Yeah, that's fine. That'll work. It's not going to exactly line up. So this neighborhood, I'm going to I'm gonna wing this a little. It's not going to be as blocky uh, like this one is laid out. I'm going to try to free free uh, freestyle it a little bit, which is fun to do. So we're going to take these roads. We'll start here. We're going to do some freestyling. I don't know how it's going to look. Could look hideous, but this is what you see in neighborhoods, right? You've got all kinds of wonky, wonky looking stuff. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's do this. Going to mix it up a little bit here. Maybe have one on this side. Sure. Why not? Da, 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 da. This also keeps the intersections kind of to a minimum, or minimal, I should say. That it's I actually don't like that. Da, 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 da. Da. It's too steep of an angle right there. Let me think of something else here. Ba, 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 ba. Let's come off this side. Let's go. Uh, actually, I tell you what. Let's maintain this little neighborhood in here. Um, come out this way. I'm trying to keep the grid line so we're, we don't get too... We don't want to get too funky and too wonky. As I get wonkier and wonkier with this. <laughs> da, 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 da. We could tie that in there, couldn't we? It's kind of a sharp... Is that too bad? I don't like really sharp corners. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. We're going to... We'll ex I'll accept it. I will accept it. Da, 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 da. A couple of... Uh, that's fine with me. That looks fine. Let's throw one in here like so. Oh, Crimson and Clover. You guys like this song? I actually love this song. Hold on. Let's turn this up a little bit. 
I haven't heard this in a while. Who originally did this? Tommy James. Tommy James did this. Uh, Joan Jett and the Black Hearts uh, did a version of this, too, that a lot of people like. Okay. Focus up here. Yeah, so the uh, we got we got to get some people in here, and I'm working on it. We're just we're doing a different uh, different style here. I hesitate to say real feels with this, but uh, there's a lot of wasted space here. But that's fine. This is going to be open. This is a slightly different, slightly different area, and I'm not going to go. I'm going to leave this so it's not self-sustained. That way, the buildings will have greener uh, grass. Anyway, let's. I gotta. Now we gotta work some magic here. We gotta get. We gotta get this happening. Let's get some water pipes connected. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to do this. This won't be exact. You know, I like to try to stay under the streets, but you know, it is a game. Let's go there. Oh man. Let's cover that. Come here. I'm going to need some coverage down this road. Let's cover here. Cover here. All right. Are we good to go? We're good to go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's start laying some houses in here. Dun, dun. So these will be interesting looking because of the way that the grid is broken up like this. So that's uh, it'll be kind of cool to see what happens. Let me see if I can tie into the electricity so I don't have to run lines. So we're going to start with a couple of houses down here. Speed up the time a little bit so they pop in a little bit faster. We'll fill this in. I'm going to do the bucket. The bucket is actually good for these broken up types of squares because it just, well, it does that. It fills them right in nicely. We'll need some corner stores. Some corner stores. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like an old miner. Some Christmas, eat some corner stores. <laughs> this might be a nice little place for. Let's put a little corner, some uh, some store action right here between these two uh, streets. And I don't. I'm not going to go crazy because, like I said, you don't. You don't want to overdo it um, because you end up having stuff just kind of too spread out. And I feel like it. I feel like the demand. We've been making the best in mobile phones for over 20 years. How did we get there? By putting ringtones in every commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, or just leave it on vibrate. Oh, shit. Make sure you always hear your phone in our commercials. It's our way. Oh, boy. We hear you. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls. Pick it up. It's for you. Akio so if you, if a building goes too long without water or electricity, it will abandon it. Uh, it will become abandoned. At the old rain mill always has the best service, the best home style meals in town. Okay. We'll make sure you always leave at the old drain mill with a smile and a full belly. Now, be sure that you dun, come dun, down dun, to dun, the dun, old drain mill, old-fashioned family restaurant, and not the abandoned grain facility at the edge of town. It's not safe for visitors and poses serious risks to anyone who dares enter that old mill, which was forced to close down years ago. We ordered our sign and uniforms before we learned of the existence of that dangerous old flour mill. So we are not <laughs> what? responsible for what happened there on that awful, awful night. We just want to focus on making great meals every night at, at the old grain mill. Old fashioned family rest. Okay, at the old grain mill. All right, dude. From our family to yours. All right, we're building up here. It's looking nice. Looking nice. This is Gold FM, the channel where 
living in the past is not do that do that do that mandatory. oh spooky man this song dude So there's another version of this song that I like even better than this original, and I, I can't remember who does it. It's featured in a movie called Fandango. It has Kevin Costner in it. It's an older movie. If you guys ever get a chance to see Fandango uh, with Kevin Costner, I highly recommend it. It is it's a great movie. It's hilarious. It's even got uh, Judd Nelson in it. I'm not a fan of Judd Nelson, but it's when he was uh, a lot younger. It's a good movie. It's an interesting movie, that's for damn sure. Anyway, this song uh, is featured in certain parts of that movie. This is looking pretty good, man. The town isn't looking too bad. I kind of like this uh, wild design here. This would be a good place for, like, uh, I could do a custom park. It would be a little bit difficult without mods. Actually, I don't even know if I could do it. What are we doing? We're making pretty good money here. We are making pretty good money. These things are also very nice, too. These Japan Japanese gardens, they're very small. Uh, and they create a lot of happiness. These people aren't too happy over here. So let me see. Let me take a look. Our land value is looking pretty damn good. we got an abandoned building over here. There is a mod that I should turn on that will automatically bulldoze abandoned buildings but i'm not using any mods let's put actually I tell you what let's put another dog park here for these people not too close to the industrial park there that should make them happy and we're going to put a japanese garden let's get some stuff happening downtown here a little bit this ties into downtown this area i'm going to put this actually off of an access road Tell you what, let's do. Let's put it right there. That's not too bad. And I might put another one. Let's do this. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get another crossroad up this area. Can I tie that in? Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay. It's not too bad. And then let's come down this way. All right. Now let's chuck a... Let's chuck another garden right back here. We'll put it right there. There we go. Put some more shops in around here. We'll put some shops in around it. Down, da, 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 da. Yeah, I like these little teeny shops, like mom and pop style deal. We'll put a big one, a bigger one on the corner here. It's a shopping district, I guess. Not really my thing. I'm not much into shopping, but um, I do like little downtown areas. Kind of cool. Two girls for every boy. <laughs> This is Jan and Dean. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this. What happened here? So you'll get little information bubbles. Let's see what's going on here. It says not enough educated workers. Why is that? Oh, you know why that is? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is... Okay, so I got to get some more schooling so we can keep up here. Uh, how much is this? 10,000. We're making enough money. I'm going to drop in another elementary school. We actually definitely, we do need it desperately. So we're going to put it to cover these people a little bit better. That'll make them happy. Now we got to wait till our money catches up. And I'll need some, uh, some schools up here as well. And let's get rid of this building. Let's see, what building was this? Does it say? Just said, oh, it was a pharmacy. Okay. Figure that'd be doing, doing well. I don't know. Maybe about thirty-five minutes. We'll let that develop a little bit. Our down, it's taking shape. Our, our areas are taking shape. What's going on here? Same thing. Probably not enough workers. Not enough educated workers. It does happen. There is a nice mod that I, I might actually use, and it's 
It's a mod that allows places to employ uneducated workers because this this is it can get out of hand this stuff it's just the ai doesn't keep up sometimes you'll get this massive demand for commercial and you put it in and then you get this where we don't have enough educated workers it's like well i got schools and shit in there i might turn that on but i don't know i think we're going to deal with it this is this happens in real life as well so it's just a couple of businesses isn't going to bother me but occasionally you can get these waves uh, like you could have death waves where people die at once and then you don't have enough people to work and buildings are going abandoned. All kinds of weird stuff can happen uh, with the AI in this. Okay, this is <laughs> a little bit crazy sounding. All right, well, I guess let's take a little, uh, we'll do some scenic stuff here. But I guess we are going to call this episode. We got some stuff done. We will, next episode, we will continue expanding. I might look at another loan. Uh, 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 but we'll see. We'll see what the next milestone unlocks. We'll finish building up this little neighborhood. Uh, and we will name it. And uh, yeah, we'll just, like I said, I'm kind of winging it. But uh, eventually we're going to work, work, keep working our way up north towards that railroad line and then we're going to start making as soon as we can unlock offices we hit that milestone then i we're going to go for like a city vibe yeah anyway hope you guys are enjoying this i have a lot of fun with this game and i think that uh, i have i definitely messed up and i should have already said this but this was originally going to be released on fridays friday fun day or something was what i was calling it but I think I might be releasing these like every two days or so or every other day at this point. I'm not sure. We'll see. I have a lot of fun with this. It's a little bit of a change from Warcraft. And uh, I try not to burn myself out on games. And I have been playing a lot of Warcraft. So this is uh, kind of a nice little break. It's different. And it's kind of cool. A lot of stuff you can do with this game. Anyway, I appreciate anybody who watched. You guys take care. I will see you in a future episode. Peace.